Howdy guys, welcome back to another video of Westland Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. So today is one of those days, one of those videos that I do love to make. And if you guys don't know already, or if you haven't really looked at the thumbnail, yeah, we're going to be opening up quite a number of tubes. So hopefully, as the normal rundown goes, basically we try and aim to try and get... Uh, uh, blueprints for items that we can either a increase weapons such as this or try to complete um, uh, Sets such as the, gu the gunslinger armor set things like that anything else in between happy to take on and whatever it is It is what it is now. Unfortunately, I've got no rare tubes here to do uh, to open up in this video here But I do have a lot of common and a few uncommon tubes. So let's get to it So we've got some le leather boots there uh, brown musket and we've got some cowboy boots again, and a machete. Uh, improved bag, cowboy jacket, uh, Henry 44, uh, brown musket again, a bayonet knife, uh, folding shotgun, got a Springfield 58 there, cowboy pants, the Riku bow. And we've got a stand back. Let's go ahead and open up the next new slot here. So some fine trousers there. Straw hat. Uh, fur pants. Uh, folding shotgun. Uh, deputy boots. Uh, boots, sorry. The Seston. Fast loading shotgun. Iron oh, spear. Some of these I'm not too worried about. See, the Remington is a good option. So I'm actually... So these sort of weapons I'm actually happy to... Um, receive incremental upgrades to and the main reason for that is these don't change in their um, resource count right so so they only sort of cost you when you make them for the first time so you can actually get the new uh, benefits or the buffs so to speak anything that you've already purchased or sorry pre-built beforehand doesn't take the buffs um, uh, increase so it still carries the old one so something like that to keep in mind um, so we've got the jeans here, uh, bronze spear, we've got some jeans again, straw hat, pepper box, uh, confederate sabre, that's actually not too bad, uh, the waistcoat, an improved backpack, composite bow, coach gun, that's not too bad actually, getting that increased as well which is always nice, folding shotgun there. Uh, we've got some cowboy pants and brown musket again confederate saber bayonet that's actually getting quite up there nearly up to 400 damage attack speed 125 so it's quite quick durability is okay at 150 you'd like for that to be you know 200 or better uh winchester rifle 45 766 see a little bit of durability on that 330 that's really a cracking weapon there um, okay, so gunfighter boots. So, ooh, okay. Ooh, did I just complete that? That has to be new. Okay, let me quickly go back to my set there because I think I was missing out on that actually. Um, yeah, so I've got the gunfighter boots there, the deputy boots, boots are there. Uh, okay, yes, I do now have the gunfighters. And I've got the deputy's uh, shoes as well. So, okay, cool. So I've been meaning to get that for quite a while now, That th those full sets. And I know they're a little bit expensive to make, but still, um, that's awesome. So now, yeah, so that's great. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So deputy's boots, gunfighter's boots. I really want to get the, um, the hat for the white crest armor. Because I feel like I can actually uh, make a few of these as well and then I need the sheriff's shoes and then I think we're good to go with all pretty much all gear just about except for the warmer stuff but yeah that, that's good I'm happy with that very good um, so we still got some standard stuff okay SW1 that's not too bad so what I, I, what I like to look at is the efficiency side of things of creating weapons. And what I've been doing actually a lot lately is I've been repairing a lot of my um, uh, weapons. So you see like the, the, uh, the Lamat here. Um, I haven't made that, that. So that's more, you know, being a repair, a repair job really. 
Um, block flint, okay. So that's that's just got a minor upgrade. Sorry, I thought that was a new um, a new addition for some reason. But anyway, I digress. Uh, okay, so simple boots. Uh, Seston again. Winter coat, minor upgrade. Cowboy boots. Yeah, so I've been doing a lot of um, repair jobs. Obviously, it's cheaper in doing in doing so as well. Pathfinder bag. Okay, so that's a newie. Yeah, so just on the sake of um, you know trying to balance myself as I'm sort of playing because I'm trying to um, uh, build up my alliance base and things like that, and adding resources to that as most as you know as much as possible. So sacrificing things there to sort of try and make that happen, um, I sort of offset that with um, you know resource usability. So yeah, but anyway. That is a nearly done. And then we've got the Colt Walker, which is a good little good upgrade there. Uh, cowboy boots. Iron hammer, which I'll never use. These I will never use. The sturdy jacket, a minor upgrade, okay. Coppice of bow, we'll never use that. The little bags, I'll never use that. Springfield 58, I'll never use him. Uh, Colt Walker again. See, that's another little weapon that's not too bad. Again, you need to sort of elevate that enough to make it sort of worth your while to make the, make the the weapon in the first place. Up to 250 on the machete there. It's actually not too bad. Um, again, 251. 100 durability though. That's what kills this thing. It's a durability factor. Um, leather hat. Uh, deputy's pants. Deputy's boots again. Uh, short bow. Pepper box. And then finally, a copper knife that I'll never, ever, ever use. Now, let's get into the final parts here. The uncommon stuff. So, the war knife. That's a new one. Peacemaker. Now, the Peacemaker, I actually like. Um, I reckon that's one of the good all-round weapons there. And I'll tell you why right now, actually. So, we're at 574 for this. Let's get out of this. Let's jump into here. Peacemaker. Oh, no. 573. So, six rivets three plates and three, um, what do you call it, steel parts, right? Now, compare that to, say, the SW, which is a T5, to go to the Lamat here. So it takes four steel parts, four plates, and eight rivets, and you, I do get 748. So for me, I'm looking at durability as well, which is the same, and, and I'm looking at 573. In most circumstances, I can get buy with the peacemaker without too many issues right so you know for the cost and manufacturing yes on paper it is quite expensive to go to say the Lamat uh, uh, revolver but then again if you go down the pathway in repairing these things so let's go ahead and just pop him out there for a second go to the old repair shop here you can see it takes 22111, which isn't too bad. I think they sort of increase over time the more that they sort of get um, broken down kind of thing. So I guess you sort of make it, um, you make a choice, right? You make the choice to build up those, um, uh, these weapons by finding all your, your blueprints, but also more importantly, build up your repair bench. So if the repair bench is up to scratch, and you've got these weapons that are building up that are nearly broken, then it's going to cost you less to fix them up, and then away you go. So, for some people that don't have that luxury, then you probably want to look at things like the, um, you know, things like what I'm doing here with the Peacemaker, or, you know, with some other hidden weapons that have got some decent now um, bit of kick to them, like my SW2 at the moment. Nearly a thousand. It's ridiculous. From a, from a pistol. It's amazing. And with the attack speed of 125, so... That will help me in those marshland, uh, sorry, in the deep water zones. So, yeah, um, now that we're on update 3.5.0, um, yeah, those type of weapons are going to come in. Um, they're going to prove their worth once I get across to the swamp lands there. If you haven't watched that, uh, checked out the other video, go ahead and check that out. I sort of explain a lot of that in the update video itself. Um, oh, we've got some fur boots. Okay. I don't think I've actually had those before. Uh, yeah. Fur boots. I've got the fur hat. Now I've got the fur boots. I just need the uh, the coat and the jacket, and we've got some. Uh, I've got a new form of clothing. The buffalo rifle. That's actually a nice all rounder as well. I, I do like that one too. The Beretta. Okay, that got a healthy bump. 
that got a healthy bump and I say that only because the Beretta is a tier 2 weapon only 100 durability yes you're going to go through them quite a lot but this is what i'm saying if you can get some of these little web those lower end weapons to a higher grade and if you can get the this guy pumping to close to 400 attack then you may not need iron weapons to go into the iron zone which will cause you you know in order for you to you know mine for iron but you're spending iron to continue to do that you see where i'm getting at guys that's what i'm sort of trying to get at right now so if I can get something like that to a higher state, and if I can get something like that, that doesn't cost me a lot in resources that I can find quite easily, because I've got a lot of bronze stuff, that would be my benefit, you know, and then I can sort of focus my resource on other things. Something to keep in mind. Anyway, I've got a cowboy backpack. So that's another, that's a new one. Okay, that's cool. Uh, what else do I get here? Some range of boot upgrades, with the pants, green river, some gunfighter pants, gunfighter boots, another gunfighter boots, a sturdy backpack, gunfighter coat, and SW2. There you go. So I've got a slight buff increase on the SW2. So I've actually got the one um, made at 912, so the predecessor to that. So. I'm happy with it for now because they're only ones and twos i don't really see the full value in increasing those too much but anyway i digress from that i think i think i've done okay in this round today um actually some of them i didn't really expect to get so i'm quite happy with that but let me know what you guys thought about this one in the comment section down below i do enjoy doing these videos quite often because they are fun to make and i yeah I have a good time. It's like one of those little, um, those little, uh, you know, uh, luck of the draw side of things. So, you know, you don't know what you're going to get, what to expect, what to get. So when you do, you're either going to be happy or you're going to be miserable or you're going to be somewhere in between. But anyway, that's just me. I'm going to go ahead and leave this video here today. I appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the video. Be sure to leave a like, comment down below. And if you guys are new to the channel or not, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Alrighty guys, take it easy. I'm out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next one.